You've talked a lot about Drake Jackson's ability to bend around the edge. Um, I've also seen him get some reps in the interior, rushing yeah. from the passer. What, what about his skill set makes him uh, effective there? You go back, um, you go back to his freshman year at USC. Yeah. And you watch him. He was, he was a bigger, statured guy as a freshman. I think he was around 270 pounds, okay. 75 pounds in there, and. Um, and most of his pass rush production as a freshman at USC came as an interior rusher. Okay. Um, so you knew he had the skill set, kind of. And, and inside, you see, you know, you see the bend on the edge, and, and all that. Inside, you really see like his stop start, his pass rush wiggle to be able to go from go from one edge to a blocker to another edge of a blocker okay. quickly. Uh, similar to like what Arden Key would do in there last year. Uh, he has that ability. Uh, we'll expand on it as time goes on. We we have. Um, repped him a little bit in there. He got a couple one-on-one -on -one pass rushes in there the other day during one-on-one -on -one drills. Um, we are we are honing in on him, you know, as an edge guy right now and trying to, you know, let him really get his feet feet underneath him there right now. Um, and then that that role could expand as time goes on. We want versatility. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want guys to just know exactly where everybody's going to be lined up every single snap, whether it's Bosa, whether it's Drake, whether it's Eric Armstead, any of the guys, Samson Hebby Khan, any of the guys. We want them. I'm gonna keep guys guessing. Hey, it might be Bosa this snap. It might be Drake this snap. Hey, it might be an overload front with Samson standing up over guard. You know, just different, different combinations of um, places guys can rush from. You know, I think for going on four years now, I've sat in here and I've talked about versatility. I'm a big believer in it. Um, big believer of guys being able to line up and execute at a high level for multiple positions and not pigeonhole guys into one spot where this is the only job you can do. And if if uh, we get an injury or something happens at another spot, and you got to slide over there. You're not prepared for it. Our guys should be prepared to whether it's hell. I mean, whether it's Bosa lining up in a three technique and passing situations. I mean, hell, I think we can move him down there in the run game. He'd be all right. <laughs> but uh, just from watching our guys, and we we don't rep both in there in the run game. But uh, we do. You know, we we do run some. Um, on occasion, run some reduced fronts where we move our defensive end and get you know cover cover the interior guys. Where all of our defensive ends um, need to need to be able to play the run game you know over guard from a three technique position because we reduce them down and we put a linebacker on the line. It's something that we've shown over the years. We don't do it a whole lot, but uh, so they need to have versatility to be able to go do that. And we have the guys that can do it. Whether it's Drake, um, Charles Menehue, um Samson's been in there. Kerry Hyder, you know. Um, Jordan Willis, uh, Trey's getting his uh, feet wet in there right now, doing some of that stuff. So, always looking for versatility. We do not want to pigeonhole guys into one spot where this is the only thing you can do. And if you get put in a situation where you have to do another thing, you're you're going to be a liability to the team. That should never happen. This is some of your, I mean, there's been so many banner pass rush moments over the past few years, but some of the really notable ones have been when an end has been working against the guard. When, when that versatility is there. I, at what point in your career did you start trying to do that more often because you saw that you had that potential athleticism advantage on the inside? Um, I'd probably say about f four years in, uh, early in my Detroit years, we had a very good front, but it was Cliff Averill on the edge. It was Kyle Van and Bosch on the edge. It was Indomitian Sue in the middle, and it was Corey Williams and Nick Fairley also in the middle, and that was kind of the standard. Um, then we picked up a guy named Jason Jones, um, who was with Tennessee uh, early in his career, and I think he played at Seattle for a year, who was cut out in the mold of a uh, six foot six, 275 pound uh, guy that was really good on the edge, setting the edge from our nine technique alignment. Um, and then his best, you know, you ask yourself, where's this guy on third down rush the passer best? Is it from the edge? Does he have the speed and the explosion and the bend that we're looking for out there to be able to? get there from wider alignments that we play or is, is it putting him over guard and, and Jason was really good you know playing first and second down on the edge and then slide inside and uh, really um, effective pass rusher in there you know and um, I think he, you know he didn't end up with about five sacks a year but he also created a lot for guys like Cliff Averill you know to have his double digit years and uh, Kyle Vandenbosch, Ziggy Ansel on the edge. Like, J.J. was a constant threat up the middle because of the wiggle and the ability to, you know, take a DN skill set and line him up over a guard where these guards are used to blocking 300, and 300 to, all the way up to 300 and 
30, 40 pound men, and then all of a sudden you get a six foot six, 270 pound guy in front of them, and it's a little different, little different element to block. They're used to, you know, trying to anchor down versus power, and, and then all of a sudden you got this quick guy in front of them, and it, it's, it can cause some issues. So, so w w whenever Jason Jones went to uh, Detroit, whatever year that was, I think it might have been 2013. Yeah. Um, I saw I saw the um, you know the benefits of having a guy like that to be able to utilize that versatility and quickness inside and just be able to create different matchups in there. So at, from that point on, I always kind of look for defensive ends that hey, you know we like what you do outside, but then let's slide you inside and let you go to work on guards. You know, kind of what we saw in Arden, um, bringing Arden here last year. You know, it wasn't a whole lot at Oakland, but you did see him slide down there inside in the production. Uh, in Oakland, you know, when he was there, what, you know, what you wanted, but he was close a lot. And you just kept seeing when he would go down and he'd be close and he went on an edge quickly. And um, so I always, when evaluating um, players, always look for that skill set if we can. When you brought Arden over, did you have that in mind that you wanted to see him rush from the interior or was that something you discovered as he was here? Um, no, we knew eventually, okay. but again, like uh, Drake, we didn't want to early on hinder what he was doing outside because it is a learning curve outside. We we play differently outside than he's been taught and what most most defensive ends are taught. We're playing wider and we're on explosion lines and it's not the read and react type that a lot of people um, teach. So one, you want to you want to let them get accustomed to what they're doing outside first mm -hmm. and then once you feel like that once you feel like they've hit that mark that's when you can start you know expanding and that's kind of the progression that Arden took you know a lot of his reps were at defensive end mm -hmm. most of his reps during camp inside came either in, in individual drills where we'd work stuff or just throwing him in there uh, inside in one-on-one -on -one pass rush situations versus our offensive line during training camp and you saw the skill set so we always had the ideal Moving forward, we wanted to, you know Arden to get his feet wet at defensive end and learn the intricacies of that, and then you know start uh, moving him inside more in, in obvious passing situations and let him use that that length and that skill set and that you know that pass rush wiggle and um, ability to get even on a blocker quickly and close close distance fast and let him utilize that and you know go sack the quarterback. <laughs>